Oh, and again, the closer that we get to the router, I will never understand uh. why it always zooms us in. But good morning, world. Good morning. Jennifer is trying to make you guys have a pretty background. Like last week, we brought you turtles. This week, we're gonna bring you. You remember the turtles? Yeah, it was cute. Cause like every, I always wa I always rewatch this thing whenever we're done. And then I was like, oh, the turtles are so Hallelujah. cute. Yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. yeah. Turtle. What do you guys want to watch today? <laughs> watch whatever I push. Whatever you push. Good choices. Who do you think this is? Who do you think this is? Come on now. Oh, yeah. Scotland, nature, and sea. That's what it was, was it? Sure. Ooh, Scotland. luxury yacht special. They've been put. I think, yeah, they've been putting on luxury stuff Ooh. in the office. It's real pretty. Well, oh, that's what make me sad. It's not. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, look at the fishies. Oh, oh fishies, fishies are nice. nice. Yeah, fishies sound nice. Says the Pisces. Says the Pisces. I was like, where are the lions? Those are nice too. Oh, that's pretty. It's too bad. It's pretty. <laughs> Doodles! <laughs> All right, scene. Yep. I uh, love it. We have been on here for an entire minute, and there's not a single comment. Oh. I know. Are you wondering how Jennifer Lynch did? Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> never know what she's going to put in this subject line right. here. never know what we're going to put in there. But, since we're never here, know, never know. we'll get right into it. Oh. So, I'm proud of myself. I have turned over an oddly new leaf. Oh, an old leaf, but a new leaf. And I've decided to do vision boards on my phone. And Aww. that's all my yes. stuff. Is like when I was my best self. It's funny, because like you never know how people are, you're going to affect people, right? This is the thing I constantly try to remind Jennifer, so. Learning moment, did <laughs> well, you read this? this? No, I didn't. Oh my gosh. Uh, so you never know how you're going to affect people. So it's funny, like, I've been on this journey with Jen since, like, the beginning of her fat days, which is so crazy, but, like, looking, and I've seen that photo before, but this time it hit different because we saw the after. And so as I'm looking at her Teletubby photo versus, like, her, her incredibly snatched, beautiful self on stage, and she was, don't get me twisted, like, she was beautiful before. And so. Oh, uh, so that's like the weird thing about this is like whenever you see it. But anyway, I was looking at her. I'm like, she was able to accomplish something that she's never had in her entire life, even whenever she danced for Beyonce. And she, <laughs> and she worked like as a dancer professionally and went to school and all these things. You never had a body like this. You never had a six pack like this. And I was like, Yo. I think that's one of the things that has like has hit me over the week going, well, if she can do this at 36, I can. I don't want to do this, but I can do something at 35. I can get down to a reasonable body mass like yesterday i went for a three mile run and i haven't ran in five years like but it's like but it's that kind of stuff it's like the inspiration that comes from that and like you were able to do this and like it was cool so thank yeah. you for that anyway so vision board back thank to me, like, my vision board on my phone this That's is whenever so i was climbing trees and i like so she wants to do bodybuilding competition i just want to smoke people at a spartan or at, like <laughs> doing i want to lift throw heavy things <laughs> and jump, right, exactly flip tables, flip and, tires tables and, and tires and tires and do all that fun trucks. stuff exactly i don't know about pulling trucks because that means have you seen those people who would do the Iron Man? They are Insane. huge. I don't want to do that either. Yeah. But I do want to climb trees and I want to take my <laughs> friends and push them over walls and jump in mud and run through colors and do all those things. So, <laughs> so different. Do they allow spectators to these things? Um, some of them, yeah, like at the end. So oh, some okay. of them, like, because it's a huge thing at the end, so they allow oh, okay. spectators and stuff at the end. There's okay. big parties and stuff. That'd but. be super dope to see you cross the finish line of. Yeah. I did a Spartan sprint Crazy. back in 2015, but I would like to do a full Spartan, so. Sparta. Yeah. Sparta. Are you not in a tank? <laughs> That's anyway. super dope. Yeah. So I love that vision board on your phone. I had no cute. idea you did that. Yeah. I was up the other night and I was like, I couldn't sleep. I was up until five o'clock in the morning, and so I was like building my life plan. And then I was like, I'm gonna do this vision board and put it <gasps> on my phone. That's amazing. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday. What was your Wednesday like, Jen? Um, Wednesday, what? Oh my gosh, I was so tired Wednesday. I felt like an anorexic Annie with no energy and no water. And I drank water. Mm -hmm. I had, I think, a gallon of water that day. Yeah. Um, but after Real Itty went home, kicked up my feet, took the meeting from the house, and then Franklin treated me to my stage nails and petty. Very pretty. Where is it? There we go. So my suit was a sapphire blue, so I had to do a little bling because, you know, who am I if I don't? It's true. So I went and did that, and yeah, just kind of relaxed once 
day. Did a little bit of work, but not uh -huh. really. Very light texting and emailing. Very minimal. That's true. Somebody comment on this thing. I'm like, okay, here we go. Are we even watching? No, we do. We have plenty. Of, we have plenty of people, oh. people watching. I just was like, what is? Why is there nobody commenting? Continue. I was oh. just making sure yeah, we were that working. Was my Wednesday. Yeah, her beautiful Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, I was in hell. Um, I had my second vaccine. Which was, I felt fine actually. Like, we, I had the Pfizer dose and I literally felt fine. Will, on the other hand, it kind of kicked his behind. But um, before that, I was working on my taxes and trying to finish <laughs> my taxes. And so trying to collect things from people who they have not given it to us yet was a, a very stressful mm -hmm. day. But that was my Wednesday and that was good. So now I'm done with my taxes. I just have to review them and submit them. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then Thursday? Thursday. Again, casual day with minimal texting and emailing. I got news that appraisals came back in at value, which thank God, because I, oh, I also learning moment. I learned that you can turn, you can hide notifications for certain texts. So it doesn't alert you. Interesting. So like if there's a group text, you know, I love she group exits. text messages. Right. And she exits. She loves to exit group I text messages. Do. Yeah. But you can just hide it. And so it'll still highlight, uh -huh. but it won't ding. ding. And, oh, and that's what mm -hmm. bothers you is the ding. It's yep. not the actual, yeah, the notification. Yeah. Oh, you might actually yeah. enjoy your group messages now because you can yeah. go to them and just read them instead of being frustrated exactly. by the Exactly. I should that's probably good. go in and unhide some of <laughs> Some of what yeah, I hit so on like Thursday. We, we have a group. We have a group. A team group message. So important things come out on that thing. Yeah, and yeah. some silly nonsense too. So yeah. it's like, all right. Yeah. Um, but Thursday, I showed a house. Oh yeah, I, showed, I was like, I showed a house. They didn't want it, which is, you know, fine. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then thanks. Kendra had her walk through. So our new, newest uh. team member, newest team member, Kendra had her walk through. On uh, on Thursday, so sending you her morning inspiration. Yes, I love her. They they tickle me like I love her morning inspiration. Today is Hump Day, and so she hump sends uh, hump, she sends us all the same she's, thing. I know I, she does, but she's <laughs> anyway. Denise is her mother. Yeah, and um, she's probably watching this. Probably hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Thursday light day for you again. Closer yeah, to prep. I had um, clients do their well and septic inspection. Well, the inspection happened. They didn't really need to be there for it, mm -hmm. but. Um, that came back great. We got the results that evening, wow. which, again, why was I looking at my phone? But I did. Um, great results there. Can't believe they didn't have to do anything. Nothing. That's wild. Nothing. Usually that's the thing about a septic inspection. It always comes back with something wrong, <laughs> something bad in it. It's rare that it doesn't, so consider yourself lucky. Yeah. And we got word that their appraisal came in at value yesterday. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Even better news. Yeah. Yeah. Turtle, turtle. Trucking right along, trucking right along. Turtles at your head. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then Thursday night was just like making sure that my suitcase was packed, ready for the weekend, and you shaved me down again, right? Mm -hmm. We did, yeah. we did Thursday shave. Scrub, Basically, it was a full. My, what do they call those things? Like whenever you like a dermaplaning situation. Derm it wasn't really. It was yeah. close as you can get to dermaplaning without doing it a dermatologist. So it's like oh, shaving like totally and then like at the spa derm. <laughs> it's like shave and scrub and shave and scrub and yeah. very polished and very shiny. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of work that goes into getting show ready as far as like not just with your body but as far as like prepping yourself down it's kind of crazy well, it's, excuse me it starts like 10 days out like i had everything on my calendar of like when i was supposed to do it like mm -hmm. day 10 day 7 day 5 day 3 all, uh, all the things mm -hmm. yeah and then let's see your saturday was wait did we skip well, friday you do friday Kendra closing. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Kendra closed on Friday, and then we did our drive-in movie. So head of the social committee in our neighborhood. Yeah, we had our go? first. We had a lot of people. We had probably about 20 cars. We showed The Lion King, and then I spilled wine in the back of my car. Cause I, <laughs> so I was laying it like we, we pulled the SUV around after everybody got in. We pulled the SUV around to watch the, watch the show, and I had red wine that I wasn't drinking, which is why it spilled. So I was laying there texting. She and been drinking it. I know. And then I had it sitting beside me, and then I was like, and I forgot that it was there. Oh, no. And then I put my hand down, and I was like, oh, no. Ooh. So my dog's blanket was covered in red wine. That's why all the, okay, yeah. I was like, <laughs> does somebody piss all over these blankets? No, <laughs> Nicole spilled a bottle of red wine all over the blankets oh my and didn't even God. notice. So that was travesty. It was tragic, truly. Mm. Well, Friday was awesome, um, obviously, day before show, right? All that excitement. But 
one of my buyers hit me up Friday night, actually. <laughs> what Same. happened with that? Will showed that house. Please tell me they wrote on it. We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk. This house Adorable. was beautiful. Adorable. Will was sending me photos while he was inside. He was like, oh my God, this is one of the prettiest houses I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I want to move out here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I don't want to move to the country. But mm -hmm. they're considering, but. How is it still available? There's a lot of follow up that has to happen around this. It's anyway. Oh my God. Well, anyway, we wow. to the 7 p.m. <laughs> uh, the, the night before show day that uh -huh. they knew it was in peak week. I get a text. You even said hey, it in the text message. Hey, we know you're. Uh, you know, we know you're in peak week. I'm gonna be like, you mean peak night? Peak <laughs> night, like the night before. Yeah. But this house just came up, and we think it's the one, and we want to see it. And I'm like. Breathe, breathe, <laughs> breathe. Don't stress, don't stress, don't stress, don't stress. So I fired off a text to the group immediately. Will's like, I got you, fam. Mm -hmm. Made the connection. Will took it, ran with it. I didn't have to think about it. So that was that was probably one of like the highlights of not only my week, my day, but my week last week. Just being able to like. Completely let go. Yeah. Yeah. And some of you ask, why would you want to be on a team? That is one of the exact reasons why oh. you want to be on a team is because you have, and you know, maybe the answer is that you would just have people who would take, like, take care of you anyway or like, you know, got your mm -hmm. back or whatever. But make sure you have a, as a realtor, make sure you have a family who will take care of you. Yeah. Um, so you can actually have a life. Unless you don't want to have a life, then just do, do, you, do whatever makes you happy. Yeah. If you just want to be ran ragged yeah. in these streets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was awesome. That was Friday. That was Friday. You got to tech a dis. <laughs> yeah. Follow up on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. And, and then Malia did my hair. I went to because she what she lives like twenty minutes from the venue from the hotel. So after check in, met some awesome girls. Um, first tan session, ate a meal. Had everything packed. I was out in these streets in a shower cap. And, of course, I had to put a headband on because I mm -hmm. have to be cute and accessorized still. Um, I was looking crazy. I get a random message. She's like, if I'm going to continue doing this, I've got to get these cute hood wraps. I'll have, I have some. I have some really cute, you do. cute silk bonnets I'll have to give you because I don't ever wear them. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, cute. So, yeah. Then went to see Malia. She hooked a sis up. Um... Let me leave with the cookie that I got to eat on Sunday. This massive oh, cookie. You had the same, was it what the was same it? one? Mm -mm. No, this one came from, they're on IG and I follow them and I drool. And yeah, I think I need to have one of these cookies once a month. <laughs> um, pie, live in the pie life. Oh. It's a bakery in Arlington, small batch Arlington scratch bakery, locally sourced, handmade sweet Look savory pies and treats. So they were mm. sold out of this one. <gasps> Double stuff, double the, chocolate show them chip what we're cookie. Looking at. So it's an Oreo inside of another cookie with cream, it looks like. She wanted to get those, but the guy was sold out by oh the time. God. So they deliver them to her salon. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he brought her fresh baked, Friday morning, fresh baked chocolate chip. Oh. <laughs> she gave me a whole one. I wow. killed that thing on Sunday. <laughs> killed um, it. Regretted it, but uh. killed it. So, yeah, so that was cool. And then, you know, back to the hotel, checked in with Coach. She came to the room, made sure I was looking good, seeing what carbs I had to do for the next day, all that good stuff. Um, set up my meal plan for the next day. So I just had, like, all my stuff with me, basically. And then I struggled to go to sleep. I felt like a child on Christmas Eve. And then, <laughs> and then woke up every couple of hours just like, is it time? Sleep. <laughs> she was time. really like a kid on Christmas. That's so cute. So I was up officially at five thirty. I just I was like at this point I my breakfast is scheduled for seven. So like just wake up. So I woke up, but laid there with the TV on, with my feet up, and then fell back asleep for about thirty minutes, and then woke up to start the day at seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it was just all mm -hmm. right. Seven o'clock. I would, that, it seems like a late start because you you've been up at like five thirty six every day. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Um, but, well, yes, oh, it's all a blur. Something happened that I needed to be, oh, because I had something to do at 10 a.m. 
Oh, hair makeup was at nine. That's uh, why. Yeah. Gotcha. That's why. That's a whole big beauty pageant thing. You got yeah. hair, you got makeup, you got tanning. She got tanned the night before. Mm -hmm. Did and they have to they touch do, you up or did you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do a touch up, they do the top coat, and then they do a glaze right before you go out. That's what makes you shiny and smooth <laughs> and pretty. Wait, or did you take a shower before you got in your clothes? Or you just kept the glaze on? I dry? showered and washed my hair Friday before the first tan. But not after. No, because she wore white pants, guys. She wore white pants after the show. And I'm like, you're going to get this tan all over yourself. But mm -hmm. I didn't, on the inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inside looks like I was just like rolling around in dirt and put on these skinny jeans or whatever they were. Yeah. Too funny. And then Saturday was a show. Saturday, day. the team showed up and showed out. <laughs> these banshees. Oh, my, uh, my God. My voice, it actually still sounds, it sounds like I'm still sick a little bit. Like, you can hear yeah. the, like, just a little scratch in my voice. I can, like, <laughs> I haven't seen, so Lauren is one of her best friends, and we haven't, like, I haven't seen her in, God, probably, years. like, three or four years. Yeah. And so it was just like, I saw her yesterday. We sat there the whole time, literally heckling. I'm pretty sure Jennifer hated us, or if you even heard us. But we oh, were, I could hear you guys. <laughs> we were heckling everyone except for number 47 which will be you should get that tattooed on your body Stay somewhere sure. number they're beautiful so I have to post stuff oh my god that's incredible yeah <laughs> that's oh the those are great shots. how anyway. fun yeah her shots are beautiful yeah they were screaming they had a poster they had cheesecake yeah we had cheesecake we had flowers we had all yeah. the cards we had awesome great for us we had shots <laughs> you know at one point when like we were off stage and I was actually able to like play with my phone you were like we're at the bar I was like there's a bar I oh, didn't yeah, there's know there's a big bar no so idea. during Suzanne's show there wasn't I don't remember there being a bar I don't but we the peep. bar was there. <laughs> like we, you just don't remember. <laughs> right. Well, we peeped that thing. Because it's like you walk in and it's a bar. It almost mm -hmm. kind of looks like, I don't know, like a movie like theater, a theater in a way. Yeah, yeah like a theater. They're actually turning it into a, um, a UFC, UFC. UFC fighting ring. Yep. Like an octagon or whatever. That's yep. cool. It's yep. a cool venue. Um, their it was first small. venue is supposed to be, their first like booked fight is um, either the end of May or June. Oh, no kidding. It's happening quick. I would like to see that in person. Yeah, That's Manassas. like modern day gladiators. I would love mm -hmm. to see people beat each other up. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh no, there goes her tooth. <laughs> it's called the, it's called the Salisbury Center. In, um, Ma in Manassas. Yeah, just uh, downtown Manassas. Mm -hmm. so I think that should do well. I think like so that too. I mean, I, I would, yeah, I would go. And we have a lot of fighters in the area, so mm -hmm. that would be pretty cool. Yeah. And it's an easy jaunt it's central. From, yeah, you can bring Richmond yeah. up. People from North yeah. Carolina, Virginia Beach. All of Even though Virginia that's Beach cool. has their own, like, kind of network of that, too. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's what my day consisted of. Actually, my day consisted of in the morning. Mm -hmm. I went and okay. got... Well. I got me some fillers. <laughs> got me some lips. Got me some lips, which is lovely. Um, and then we went. And then I went on the cheesecake hunt and the poster hunt. And I was like, Will and I were coordinating. He's out showing the house. I'm like, I need you to stop and get these flowers and cards. <laughs> so we were tag teaming it. And then he got there early to save chairs since he was there since he was down that way so he nice. got the early save chairs which allowed us our friends who didn't buy tickets ahead of time for them not to be stuck in the overflow room because yeah. they allowed us to save seats so pro tip if you're ever going to go to a bodybuilding show or any of these kind of shows a person can show up early and save a section nice. for your family I'm so worried yeah because i mean there wasn't that many there was probably like 150 chairs in there if yeah. that but they were because yeah. they were covid so they're all spaced out and everybody had their mask on people were getting kicked out because they didn't yeah. keep their masks on when I saw somebody post um, like a stream of the space and how they had the chairs spread out, I started firing off messages to all of you. I was like, get there early, doors open at 2.30. I don't know how seating is going to work. Get there early. Uh, right. doors, blah, 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 blah. So, um, and at like two, people were lined up outside mm -hmm. for them to start. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. It was definitely an I'm experience. There's there so many people. And so it was like, it was just good vibes because everybody's there to support the people that they love so you know everybody's excited and it was cool seeing the competitors talk to each other because you know those heifers don't like each other whenever they get on stage because they're trying to outshine each other but after the community of the bodybuilding community is a really beautiful thing yeah. to see yeah that's pretty dope mm -hmm. it just gave me goosies yeah, yeah. goosies yeah, but anyway and then dinner was fantastic that's actually my favorite meal fantastic so when <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went, we ordered every appetizer, literally every appetizer that Black Sheep. So we we rented the bar the barrel room. The barrel we rented room. the barrel room at Black Sheep 
out in Manassas. Mm -hmm. Two Silos. Two, well, yeah, the Two Silos Complex, yeah. if you guys are familiar with it. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay. I highly recommend it. Make sure you get reservations because you can't just walk in there. There's yeah, no. we tried to for brunch on Sunday. They no. were like, I'm sorry, Resi's only. We were like, mm. this is Manassas. Like, that's your immediate thing. Like, that's yeah. my immediate gut reaction. This is Manassas. And then you're like, oh, wait. This, this is lovely. This, this food is phenomenal. <laughs> the really Villaggio good. group did it right. And the whole complex is cool. Yeah. I'm still trying to get over there for sushi, but they've been, they've been yeah. I know, but they're... That's on my must-eat meal yeah. list. Yeah. yeah. Um, where was we at? Favorite meal. And I just Lunch received the keys. Slash. Good. Um, yeah. uh, fit, wait, what? What was your favorite thing there on the... Oh, the green, the, the, the green, green Thai, thai curry Yeah, the green Thai curry mussels. That was... So I like mussels in general, and there's a place over in Anquan called Cock, Cock and Bowl, mm. which has they have it like it's a, a traditional German mussel place, and they have really good mussels. So up until this point, this was my favorite mussels, Belgium, Belgium whatever, yeah. what oh. <laughs> European. Yeah. Um, anyways, and we went to there, and they brought us three different types of mussels, and two of them were literally fire, mm. like mine, like amazing. But the yeah. showstopper of the entire meal. Was the green Thai curry mussels? Yums. Yeah, I didn't try one of those. I know they were on the right side of the table. We had three pots. I know. <laughs> we're gonna have yeah, to go back. Had three pots. Of <laughs> three pots of mussels. No, I mean there was also what fifteen of us or fourteen of us, thirteen of us, twelve, twelve of us. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean there was it a lot was of good. us there. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, what was your favorite thing? There? So good. Um, actually, the scallop. The bite of two things. The bite of scallop that I have. Oh no! Is it because I'd, I'd be so mad? She was gonna get the scallops, and then the waitress talked her out of it. Yeah, yeah. I would not order the salmon again. It was fine, mm -hmm, but, but it was salmon. For, yeah, I mean, for wanting like flavor and magic, mm -hmm, wasn't it? Yeah. So the bite of a scallop that I had, and then also the um, the jambalaya pasta. They didn't even they had jambalaya. Who got that? <laughs> oh my god! Taj had that, and somebody else got it. Maybe Jared? I was nibbling at his. Uh, yeah, Jared did. I was going to say, because yeah, I thought that he had like a pasta dish. Yeah. Oh. The flavors were so good. So good. Like, I only wanted one bite, and then I was like, give me another one. Give me another one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I am glad that I didn't get the pasta, because I would have ate the entire bowl and hated my life. Oh, no. Just because the flavor was so good. Yeah. Yeah. You would only hated your life for like an hour, and then your whole body would have just like poof, mm. eaten it. <laughs> I don't know. And then we ordered every dessert. We did order every dessert, and then two of some. We ordered two uh -huh. carrot cakes, two. What else? The strawberry cannolis, which. Not good. Don't do that. If you mm -hmm. go to Black Sheep, don't get the strawberry cannoli. You have to really have an obsession for strawberry. They didn't even taste but like strawberry. Even, yeah. Because I it love strawberry. Like a, you love strawberry. I do. Yeah. That it was, was like not... an organic, muted, toned down that strawberry had, flavor. That had some kind of like pixie stick in touch. It, it was weird. Anyway, the moral of the story is don't do it. Like it could have been overly sweet, but there was, it wasn't. Mm -mm. And then it could have been just, it, it was just there. It was yeah. just there. I liked the shell, though. The cannoli shell was it's, delicious. Yeah, the cannoli shell was good. And the best one that we didn't get to of was the Snickers pie. <gasps> oh, my God, the Snickers <laughs> pie. Oh, my God, that was so good, too. I kept taking bites of that, and I was done. And every bite I took, I was like, why am I doing this? Like, I just felt myself going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it was so good. Yeah. I would so. go back and order just that. So, Black Sheep, there's your menu that you should order whenever you're there. Yeah. Fried um, green tomatoes were delicious too. I didn't even try those. Damn, mm, they were so good. I didn't try those. I didn't try the deviled egg. There's a couple oh, things. Oh, the deviled egg was good, but yeah. it was just good to have yolk. Yeah, <laughs> just good to have yolk. <laughs> the little things in life. <laughs> yep. Mm. That's funny. I don't love food at all. Listen to me. I'm like, oh, oh, amazing. Well, you can appreciate it in moderation, right? That's, yeah, that's a thing that can be done. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was Saturday. Mm -hmm. I got. We drank a delicious mini bottles of wine. Yeah, that Pinot. Yeah. That's I left my car in Manassas that night. Mm, one of those nights. Nice. Right? A very safe thing to do. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> mm, boom, boom. So Sunday. Well, I did brunch. <laughs> and, well, I worked out and uh -huh. then brunch and then came to the festival. Yes. So Sunday was our Belmont Bay Conservancy Festival. So Belmont Bay now has two controlling entities inside of our neighborhood. We have the HOA and we have the Conservancy. And the Conservancy threw its first big party. Um, and it was there was a multitude of reasons why we did that. You know, the biggest reason being that the Conservancy, aka the Carruthers family who owns the owns the land, has 
created new plans in conjunction with the county to fulfill on our small area plan. And so we re they released some of those plans to the community, which uh, we're, getting, are, we're getting mixed reviews on from the community. You know, you've got the folks who've been here for 20 years, and they don't want to see the neighborhood change, and then you have the other side of the neighborhood that is like very excited about having further walkability. And the same person who designed the Bresson Town Center and the Chicago Waterfront and the Charleston Waterfront in South Carolina and is the architect that is, or the engineer and the architect who are working on this specific project. So it's beautiful and it's inspired by Georgetown and you've got beautiful trees and beautiful shops and an amphitheater and a boardwalk that goes down by the river and it's an incredible opportunity for our community. Um, but unfortunately, there's a lot of backlash uh, that's happening with that too, which is understandable. I mean, people in general, human beings, do not like change. Yeah. So it'll, it, change is inevitable, especially whenever you have a beautiful waterfront community and it's not de fully developed to its full potential. So anyway, so we hosted this event. I say we because I also hosted it. We rented a space in there and East and Ivy had a tent. We had the band there and... The plans were over there. Miller and Smith was there. Freedom was there. We were doing boat rides. In fact, Captain Will was doing boat rides for the community, which was really cute uh, through that um, adventure. Yeah. Yeah. The band was great. Yeah. It's a good turnout. Yeah. We had, overall, it was 270-something people who nice. showed up. How many people were in yoga? Do you know? Um, A lot. Was awesome. Yeah. It was It was really... Did I show you the photo of it? Um, I saw it on your IG. Yeah. It was like there were so many people. That, I think that was probably my coolest moment is because we had Nisha from Rooted Yoga hosted a free community yoga on the lawn that morning at 11. Mm -hmm. I mean, there must have been 40 people out there, and she's limited to a class size of five. And watching the entire green fill up just to hear her do the show was, one, she's a good friend of ours now, and I, I love her to pieces, and I love her studio. I remember down there. But watching everybody in the community do that outside by the marina, it just it felt right. It felt like that's what our community is supposed to be, is this thriving town of, like, yeah. you know, families and kids and people working out. And, like, yesterday, whenever I went on my run, there were so many people out working out because it was such a beautiful day. And I was like, mm -hmm. this is what we need. This is what we need here is just this beautiful community full of life and people. And it was also nice because, you know, we've been in COVID for so long and yeah. you, you just haven't, there's been no gathering. So, and to say we had 274 people throughout a period because we did it, yeah. we did 100% go by COVID guidelines and at no point were more than 100 people within this entire, like, roped off area. So um, we had a counter. She was Lori was up there counting nice. uh, with a little counter the whole time. Um, but yeah, that was that. That was on Sunday, and that was a really it was a really lovely, really lovely time. Mm -hmm. um, and then Monday, I got a I got on a call because I didn't get actually get to go through the Carruthers plan with them that day, and I hadn't seen it prior. So I did a um, a Zoom call with a representative to understand exactly what everything is, and because we have the plans. In fact, if you're anybody listening from Belmont and is curious about what's going on, I have the big boards that they had at the event. I have those in the office, and then now I know the entire rundown, so I can give you a rundown of of what is being offered um, and projected in the community over the next ten years. So it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then I ran comps. A friend of mine. I sold her a house six months ago, and she's about to get transferred. I know, Sophia. Oh it's my on, you know, gosh. it's up there. So it's like it's a. I'm like I hope that this doesn't happen because they literally just got transferred wow. and now they're just like, hey, by the way. So we'll see. Um. Yeah. Cheers. What was your Monday? Oh, I had a few referral leads come through. So I. Oh, had, that's awesome. Yeah, I had lots of. Let's calls. So let's catch up. Jim. <laughs> the, the it gym. continues. Mm -hmm. The good thing is it's not twice a day. I'm allowed to do it all in one right now, which is nice. So I get a little bit more time in my evenings back or morning, whichever mm -hmm. way I play it. But I like getting there in the morning, get it done, and then. When do you going. have to? Do you, have, do you just do two days before, like, and like prep and prep? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now she's in something called a building phase where she's building her glutes. Mm -hmm. um, and then Week highlight? Well, we never did Tuesday. I mean, they were still... Oh, that's right. Tuesday. Oh, I did a walkthrough yesterday. Um, partial day off. Took the second half of the day. 
off. So I do want to try and continue to respect one day off. Um, it's good for mind, body, and soul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. So I did try and take the second half, and that worked out quite nicely. Yeah. yeah. I went for a run, and then I went and worked out with Q to did, yeah. did core, and then... Uh, I taught a class on our listing presentation to our new agents, and then we went on the boat for a couple of hours and just putted down the Aquaquan, which is real. The Aquaquan is so beautiful. Like, you get to see the coolest, like, birds flying around. Oh, There's... listen to this bird nerd. I was actually laughing. I was like, Jen, explain the birds. But I didn't actually <laughs> didn't say that. Um, but there was all sorts of just cool birds just around here living their best life, like in a nature preserve. Uh, yeah, and then we went to dinner. It was a lovely night. And... Then that leads us to today, mm-hmm. where we're talking to you, fine folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got a busy day today. Two closings in here. I got a load of follow up. Mm-hmm. Set up some appointments. Lots of appointments to set. Lots of property searches to clean up. Yeah. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long one. Yeah. Well, I'm just excited because I was looking at the market watch before we got on here. And there is in just our in just Northern Virginia alone, we have 651 coming soon listings, and then in the last oh, seven yeah. days, 503 is were became active. So I think that we're starting to pick up a little bit from it's where we were. Uh, it's um, well as long as the coming soon don't go under contract while they're in the coming soon status, which is certainly possible. Mm-hmm. Um, and whenever you look at this, it's like you've got 177 price decreases in Northern Virginia. And I'm like, 177 price decreases. That means there was 177 opportunities to find a home for a buyer yeah. uh, and try to negotiate a reasonable price. So That's a way to look at it. Yeah. So it's all, con- all hope is not lost. A lot of folks are just listing high in this market mm-hmm. uh, to see what they can get. And it's, sometimes it doesn't work. So... Yeah, we've got 1,000 pending. Jeez. Yeah, 997 closed in the last seven days. How interesting, but there's also withdrawn, canceled, and expired. That means 30 homes expired. That means 30 homes in Northern Virginia did not sell. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, so the moral of the story is that there's opportunity out there, guys. Like, yeah. as, as much as, like, we see, it's easy to see the memes and it's easy to get discouraged and it's easy to just, like, stop wanting to do the work because if one house is nice, it's going to have 50 offers on it because that one house is nice. But there's there's gems out there. The numbers show it. Yeah. And there's 98 temporary off market. So if you're looking for something specific, you can always try to contact that mm-hmm. agent and be like, hey, why are you off market? Can we do an off... It's technically off. It's technically t- t- yeah. off market right now. Can we do this while well, it's not not under contract or not actively on the market? So, anyway, I feel a little bit more positive. I was telling one of my buyers this week. This week, I was like, you know, things are starting to show up. We're starting to get more coming soon. So I'm hoping that, um, I'm hopeful. I'm just hopeful that we can actually help our buyers find homes. Yeah. So we will. Yeah. And just patience. Patience. Trust the virtues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what was your learning moment? Um, never knowing who you're inspiring, living your own journey. Mm-hmm. And it's been insane the amount of like love and support and thanks, um, just for me doing my transformation post from June to. <laughs> I'm done talking. <laughs> from June to April, yeah. So. You're allowed to be, you're allowed to be inspired. Like, this is happy tears. It's happy tears of inspiration. And it's like, Jen is really hard on herself a lot. And that's the thing that we talk about quite, quite often is like not recognizing that her own power or like her <laughs> or the inspiration that she holds for others. She's got such a huge personality. People watch. Wow. You know why 12, at this moment we have 12 people watching right now. And those 12 people, the only reason why they're watching is because they're entertained by our lives <laughs> in one way our shape, nonsense. Uh, right our nonsense so yeah and that doesn't just go for Jen that goes for you guys out there too it's like recognize that people are watching that's the odd part about this whole social media journey or like your social yeah. media life that we live in is like if you choose to put yourself out there people are going to follow you and then you can inspire people and when you have a big personality and you have a public platform 
you have to take care. Like you have to harness that power and be responsible for it. Yeah. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. It yeah. just, like this is, but it's like just recognize if you're gonna put yourself out there, then you can touch somebody yeah, whether you realize it or not. Exactly. So, yeah. So that's been my highlight. Well, I love your highlight. That's <laughs> good. I'm glad that that. I'm glad that you're seeing it. I'm glad that you're seeing the the transformation. Like we have somebody that on the accountability challenge that. Um, you know, she was in a she was in a dark place, and she wrote a really heartfelt email about how this changed her life. And it's like if you look back, it's like so the tra- the accountability process we did that because of watching Jen's transformation, and we're like, all right, well now we want to do this and try to see how like we can capture a larger audience. And the coolest thing that we got back out of that was her response. And now like and that's like she's gone, and now she's gotten back into training because she yeah. used to be a trainer back in the day. So now she's training people, and she's out there like changing lives so it's like this one thing that you decided to do has now affected somebody else to change their life who's now impacting other people's life and it's like it's this crazy turn your action of like you you just never know this world's a really wild place so so incredible that she's like she's consciously consciously touching people you know like that's yeah amazing yeah (sighs) my learning moment was how to say it's not it's not inspirational but it is if you want to save money on your taxable income <laughs> make sure it's like is this a commercial <laughs> yeah so I was like I've been listening like my, my business coach has me listening to all these like tax free wealth and all this other stuff and so I was working through with my account over the last week talking about uh like how to save money on taxes because I knew I was going to be in a, a pretty high tax bracket this year. And uh-huh. um, I was like, he was like, are you going to put money into an IRA? And I was like, look, man, I was like, I want to know the exact amount that I need to put in the IRA in order for me to lower me to the next, the biggest jump on a tax bracket. And sure enough, if I didn't listen to any of these books, I wouldn't have known to ask that exact question. And he gave me the exact amount. So then I called my financial manager. I'm like, bro, I need you to set me up on an IRA and blah, blah, blah. And so we're, we're working through that nice. um, at this just so, and it, it did reduce my tax bracket from in the 30s to now in the 20s so I was like this is solid this is solid so thank you for that um so those of you who file uh as independent contractors realtors uh and uh business owners and things like that just be very conscious of how much money you make and what the things that you can do I would highly recommend listening to tax-free wealth it's a wonderful book um yeah what else highlight my highlight was Jen's show. Um, and then the Belmont Bay Party. Those are my two big weekly highlights. Those were a lot of fun. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. So, I guess that's it. We've been with you for 36 minutes. And thank Ooh. you, uh, wonderful people, for listening to us. And thank you for looking at Jen. <laughs> and thank you for her, your support to her throughout this journey. It's thank been an incredible thing to witness. Thank so. you. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. I'm Mama Ro- Mole Rat over here. <laughs> right, I was Mommy Mole Rat. So I'm like, <laughs> come here, little Mole Rat. <laughs> it's shaving time. Indeed. All right, we love you. We'll talk to you next Wednesday. Peace out. <laughs>